Miles Community College had already been working on expanding CNA training into high schools in rural areas in Montana where a high workforce need had been expressed by uh, particularly long-term long care facilities and other health care facilities. So when this grant application became available, we thought it was a natural fit. It would allow us to provide CNA training to high school students, knowing that those students, a CNA position is often a great fit for high school students, particularly those that want to explore options in the healthcare field, nursing or, or other options. We've long had requests from high schools to offer CNA training in other areas besides just Miles City and our own individual uh, local healthcare facility that we had been. The biggest thing this grant money is gonna provide is just some additional support for uh, awareness and outreach, some materials that are really specific to, to this program so that we can let uh, both the high schools, the students, the families, and the communities know what we're doing to try to build some of that, that awareness. There is job opportunities to be a CNA just about everywhere. We have seen a huge increase in the need for CNAs over the last two or three years, especially um, with the COVID-19 pandemic. It has just been a challenge to get people into it. I don't know if people are aware that we have that need, but there's definitely a lot of job opportunities, a lot of flexibility, a lot of age range. They can come in from 15 years old to 60 years old and start a career as a CNA. I always recommend that people start CNA-wise. Just get your foot in the door for medical to see if you want to become a nurse, to see if you want to become a tech somewhere, uh, to be a medical assistant, anywhere there. It's just a first entry level step to see if the medical field is something that's right for you. We have a Pathways program um, that allows our students to pick industries or, or different opportunities that they might be interested in as a future career. I see this working pretty seamlessly with the Pathways program. We allow it for our juniors and seniors as an opportunity to experience a career and potentially enter the workforce right after high school uh, through those Pathway programs. We are unique in that we have a, a credit-bearing CNA course. We've had that for, for some time and the, the lecture or didactic portion of that class is delivered online, which makes that really accessible to students no matter where they are and whatever scheduling challenges they might have during their, their school day at the high school. So the, the lecture is delivered online and then the clinical components are handled on site at the local healthcare facility. In the case of, of Miles City, this of the Custer County District High School students that we work with, we do some initial hands-on training in our nursing arts lab here on campus and then the students go into residential living at Holy Rosary Healthcare for that hands-on direct patient care component of the clinical. The guidance counselor, who also happens to be the pathway coordinator, works pretty one-on-one um, -on -one with students to help them find the right programs, um, and then works with MCC if they're in collaboration to see how we can make that beneficial to, to the students. So it's very one-on-one -on -one with students not just a sign up and get in, but uh, how is this going to benefit your future? How is it going to benefit potentially the community and the school community, um, the larger community as a whole through the courses that you take? The Future at Work program is really helping us live out our mission of meeting local rural Montana workforce needs while simultaneously providing area high school students with career exploration opportunities. You know, it's never too late and it's never too early to start your career. If this is something that you've thought about doing, now is the opportunity and the time to do it. Our district vision is class, challenge to learn, and support to succeed. And I think that this program will help us to meet that.